good morning, good morning. We're at the last Sunday of the year, and we are still here, and it's by the grace of God. Hey, good morning, everybody. Of course, again, we're, we're broadcasting Facebook Live, 394 Vance Avenue, downtown Memphis, Progressive Missionary Baptist Church, where our senior pastor is Dr. James B. Collins and First Lady Collins. Listen, we welcome you to sing, shout, praise God with us. Listen, this is the last Sunday of the year, and we have our voices, our male corps, that are going to sing to you. Our pastor's going to preach. We're just going to have a good time. So go ahead and like and share. Go ahead and go ahead and press that button. Like and share. Progressive Mission Baptist Church. Again, we're located at 394 Vance Avenue. You can check us out on all of our social media platforms. That's www.progressivemissionarybaptistchurch.com. Again, we welcome you once. We welcome you twice. We welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on in and have service with us on the last Sunday of the year. We're Progressive Missionary Baptist Church. Oh, Jesus. 
great God, mighty, mighty thou art. Lord, we come this morning to tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come into this house of worship one more time. Understanding, oh God, that this is the last Sunday in the month of December. Yeah. Lord God, so much has taken place. But yes, God, Lord. you know yes, it all. Yes, Lord. And God, you see it all. Yes. But Lord, who was us to not tell you thank you? Yes, Lord. Who we? For allowing us to see, Lord God, this last month. Yes, Lord. For allowing us, Lord, to travel on through. Lord God, keeping us when so many, Lord, have went home this year. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord God, we understand that the year is not over yet. No, no. And Lord, we just come to give you praise. We just come, Lord, to lift you up and magnify your holy name. Praying, oh God, for those right now, Lord, that is in the hospital dealing with COVID-19. Praying, oh God, that someone, Lord, some family member, Lord, will be helped in the midst. Lord God, I, myself, oh God, praying for my own family member, Lord, praying, Lord, that you would just keep them, praying, Lord, that you would just heal, Lord, praying, oh God, that, Lord God, restore organs. Yeah. Lord God, praying, oh God, that we know the affliction that this virus has on people. Yes. Lord God, praying that you would just deliver. Praying, oh God, for those, Lord, that's dying at this minute, this hour, this second. That, Lord God, they would die believing in you. Understanding, Lord, to be absent from the body is to be present with you. Yeah, God. Lord God, understanding that we all have to go. And understanding, Lord, that we know that we're going, Lord, believing in eternal life. Lord God, we thank you right now for those that you have delivered, those that you have kept. Lord God, you're keeping us right now. And Lord, we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done and what you are doing right now. Thank you, Lord, for those that are have a job. Thank you, Lord, for those, Lord, that looking to be fed, Lord, that you, Lord God, is in the province business. Lord, we love you right now. We love you, Lord, for those that are listening right now. We love you, Lord, for those right now that are in your presence. Lord God, have your way on today. Bless our pastor with a word from on high. The last message in the month of the year. Lord God, touch him, Lord. Touch him right now, Lord. Touch the family right now of Mount Moriah right now. The giant that has gone home. Lord God, that have touched, blessed, inspired so many lives. Lord God, we love you right now, Lord. Lord God, thank you right now, Lord, for our children. Thank you, Lord, for making a way, Lord. God, you are a, 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 a way-making God. And Lord God, we just thank you right now, Lord. When doors been closed, Lord, you make a way. So, Lord, we just come to honor you, Lord. We just come to give you praise. Lord God, we love you, Lord. Thank you for your darling son, Jesus, that atoning sacrifice a death that we could not death take. But Lord, we just thank you right now. Thank, thank you for all the men, Lord, that's gonna run a praise. Lord God, you say men are your glory. So Lord, we just come to give you praise. Thank you right now, Lord. Lord, we love you and we praise you. We lift you up, we magnify you your holy name, Lord. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Heal right now in the name of Jesus. Restore right now in the name of Jesus. Bleed the blood, Lord, right now for those that are on their bed of affliction. Those right now listening on their bed of affliction. Help and heal right now, Lord. Restore hearts, restore minds, Lord. We love you and we praise you, Lord. Give back those, Lord, that have lost strength, Lord. Give back those, Lord, that have lost their help, Lord. Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Protect us, Lord. Shield us as we go through 2021. Shield us, Lord. Protect us and keep us, Lord. For God is a refuge. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes.
let the sun go down on your wrath. A lot of times families separate over issues that they need to just leave alone. Regardless whether it's money or just a dispute. Don't close out this year with dislike for anybody. You don't know when your last moment is going to be. Nor the last moment of the person that you're angry with. It's best to let people know now that you love them than to wait until it's too late. You can send all the flowers in the world to a funeral, but the person that's gone can't smell one of them, nor see and enjoy their beauty. Close out the year in right standing with God. Gospel of St. Matthew chapter two. Yes, ma'am and yes, sir, these are the wise men. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2. Normally I close out the year telling you to go another way. Mm -hmm. However, this time it's going to be a little different. Use them, Lord. Oh, yeah. Only need one verse. Well, I'm going to read two. Verses 1 and 2 of the second chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship. Simply want to talk about follow the star. Follow the star. Amen. Follow Amen. Amen. the star. Follow the star. Realizing that this is the Sunday after Christmas. I didn't get the opportunity to talk to a number of you all on that day. Uh, I did receive a lot of well wishes via a text. But this morning I'm encouraging us to continue to follow the star. The star was a sign to some Gentile astrologers that the king of the Jews had come into the world. It had been some years since Israel had celebrated a king. Now being under Roman rule, all of a sudden a new king And this king was the rightful heir to the throne of his great, great, great grandfather, David. And this was a moment that Israel had long anticipated. They were standing and waiting and Wondering, will we ever have another king? For over 700 years had passed, and not a word from God was heard until that star appeared. The Savior of the world was born to a silent church. No one really understood 
the significance of his birth. Because it had not yet been broadcast to all of the world. Knowing that the shepherds had seen him. But nobody would actually want to believe a shepherd. Mm -hmm. Shepherds in those days were seen as a righteous bunch of men. Mm -hmm. Some thought that they were big liars. Well. People that caused trouble because they lived outside of normal civilization. Mm -hmm. But those shepherds actually proclaimed the word and told the world what they had witnessed. But being of that particular reputation, perhaps some thought the shepherds might have had too much wine. But these men from the East, who were called men, my God, wise men of struggles, one night was watching the sky, and they saw a star, which was a sign to them that something special was going on in that area. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to understand that the Jews were not the only one that understood the word. Mm -hmm. Because these astrologers knew that something special had occurred because they saw the star of David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, now signs from God may not be important to you, but they are to me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See, one sign, mm -hmm. several signs came to me during my acceptance of Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. First of all, I got a fear. Now folk might tell you, there's no fear in salvation. Well. But I differ with you. Yes, sir. I do too, Dr. Green. See, I'm not got what I wouldn't have religion, I couldn't feel sometimes. And not only that, yes, sir. tears came from nowhere. Mm -hmm. And those tears were two types. Mm -hmm. First tears said were tears of repentance. Because I was a messed up person. Yes. Oh, yeah. She went out without a savior. Mm -hmm. You are a messed up individual. No yes, 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 no. At the age of nine, was a messed up person. Yes. But when the Lord came in and started straightening up the mess, I felt accepted into a righteous family. Because God saved a wretch like me. Yes, yes. So those tears of repentance turned into.
the tears of joy. Because the Lord was leading me out of my mess and into his righteousness. Third thing that happened, mm -hmm. he gave me a new perspective. Yes, sir. Yes. And the scriptures came to light in my life. Mm -hmm. That if any man, man. be in Christ, mm -hmm. yeah. he is a new creature. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And somebody ought to thank God for your new. Because every day, every day, God gives you something yes. new. new. And this is what he gives me new. I need it. Because mm -hmm. every day, he gives me brand new yes, sir. mercy. Yes, sir. Somebody help me out of mercy. 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 It's what you don't deserve, but he gives it to you. Somebody ought to thank God that God has mercy. Yes, Because we live in an unmerciful world. Yes, sir. Filled with unmerciful people. Mm -hmm. Unmerciful people. In high positions. Yes. Nobody delights on human suffering. But unmerciful for. And that's what these wise men walked into. Mm -hmm. In their search. Yes. Y'all forgive me, I'm getting happy. Oh, get happy, Doc. Go ahead. In their search for Jesus because they were following a star. Yes. Not just in it. You're going to have growing pains. You 
you're going to even get tired, but follow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Y'all don't like me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the problem, Pastor. Because folk don't continue to see the stop. Mm -hmm. They get complacent. Yes. But in the kingdom of God, all right, all right. there's no room for complacency. Because you want to be progressive in your efforts to follow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But look where they went. Mm -hmm. They thought that because of deity, that the king of Israel, whose name was Herod, mm -hmm. would willingly the door for the king of the Jews because he had Jewish parents. Yes. But let me tell you something. Rod does not necessarily dictate that Rod recognizes deity. Yes, to me. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to let you think on that one. Because we got something similar to that going on right now. Right now. <laughs> yes. This ain't about that. Mm -hmm. This is about following the stop. Now, 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 when you get to it, they tell you the reason why they are in this region. Mm -hmm. Because we saw the stop. And we come to worship mm -hmm. the king yes, sir. of yes, the Jews. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Herod took that as a threat mm -hmm. to his ability control, to control his region. Mm -hmm. So he goes and asks those that are in his cabinet mm -hmm. that have some knowledge of the history of Israel. And those that were actually knowledgeable of Jewish worship. Mm -hmm. Now see, there are a lot of folk faking it today. Amen. Come on, brother. Amen. Come on. They look one way, mm -hmm. but they are really another. Mm -hmm. Claim they out to help folk, but all they want to do is hurt folk. You can look pleasant on TV mm -hmm. and fool a whole lot of folk. Well, <laughs> Amen. I better shut up. Preach, right, Colin. Preach, <laughs> Colin. Yeah, you can tell me you don't want to hurt me. So I can trust you once you get behind my back. To show you the true me. No, no. But you're looking at the real me. Because I got the love of God in my heart. Yes, if I didn't have the love of God, I wouldn't trust me. Of wanting to 
to see Jesus. I'm glad that the Lord held up the stop until they journeyed away from here. And the Lord took that same stop and placed it over the real location of Jesus. Because Jesus and his mother and father had moved out of the box. No longer wrapped in swaddling clothes. And laying in a manger. But somebody had received them into a house. And that's all I got to tell you today. I'm just wondering, has anybody in here got room for Jesus? Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Somebody still got him in a barn. Yeah. Laying in a feed trough. Yeah. But somebody ought to have enough love to invite him into your guest room and give Jesus the best that you got. Because if you're following the star, yeah. your mind is on worship. And you can tell on Sunday yeah. when you sung up the time to worship yeah. that the devil knows that you really want to worship. Yeah. He'll set at a red light that's turned green and delay you from getting to where you're trying to go. Yeah. He'll wait yeah. till Sunday morning to call you up and fill your mind up with mess in order to interrupt your worship. You better help me in here today. He won't tell you bad news on Saturday. But Sunday morning, when you get up, drink your coffee, eat your little breakfast, your wages is good until you put your shoes on. Your wages is good until you get dressed up. Spray on your father me and then here he comes. Talking about where are you going and why are you going You need to come on and go with me. But you ought to be determined that I've seen a star and I got to follow that star where it leads me. And aren't you glad? I said, aren't you glad when you finally reach the right place? The Lord will show up in it. Didn't 
get all your gifts out. You didn't rake in a whole lot of monetary costs. But let me tell you, you still got something out. You got that soul of God, soul of the weather. Let me tell you how much you loved you all night, last night.
website, ProgressiveMissionaryBaptistChurch.com, Facebook at ProgressiveMB Church, cash out, dollar sign PMBC1918, Gillify, Progressive MB Church, 394 Vance, 38126, Post Office Box 196, Memphis, Tennessee, 38101, or you can come by 394 Vance Avenue. We will be back same time next Sunday at 10 a.m. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. I want to thank God for another powerful message from our pastor, Dr. James B. Collins. Following the star, God has given us all a star to follow, to make us who he wants us to be, that we might be able to do what he wants us to do. And we all have our different responsibilities that God has given us. And today we're asking you to utilize your responsibility in supporting this ministry. I know that you listen to us each and every Sunday and you worship with us each and every Sunday and we're thankful for that. But we need to know that you're in full support of us by sharing with us a gift that God has put on your heart to give to this ministry, to support this ministry. I know each and every Sunday that we come on, you probably say, they're doing pretty good over there, and I can make my donation somewhere else. They don't need me. But we're here today to tell you we need you. We need your support. We need your gifts. We need your donations. We need your tithes. Progressive members, you already know what we expect of you. We expect you to continue to support this ministry. Because things are still going on as normal here. We still have the same responsibilities. We still have MLGNW that sends the bill every month. Yeah. We still have these musicians that have dedicated their service to this church, their talents. We still have responsibilities. And we need your help. We need you to bless this ministry and be a blessing to this ministry. If this ministry has been a blessing to you, then show it by sending us a gift today. Don't hesitate. She's given you all of the ways that you can participate. You can drop it off at 394 Vance Avenue. We have a drop box on the front porch. Or you can send it by Giblify, Progressive Missionary Baptist Church at Giblify. Or you can send it cash app. Hashtag, hashtag dollar sign. 19, what is it? Tell me, baby. 1918. Dollar sign, hashtag 1918. Progressive Christian Baptist Church. Send, send your gifts today. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Thank you for staying with us through this entire pandemic. Our numbers have been up. I checked the numbers the other day just to see have people been staying in touch with Progressive? And you have been. And we appreciate that. Continue to support us and we'll continue to bring this message to you live on Facebook Live. Until our pastor is led to reopen the sanctuary, we're continuing to be on Facebook Live because he has the concerns of each and every one of the members at heart. Yeah during this pandemic. Thank God for the vaccine, but it hadn't reached the people of Progressive just yet. Right now, it's being given to the healthcare workers and senior citizens, but as soon as it gets out a little bit further to our members, then I think Pastor will be a little bit more comfortable in opening these doors. Again, thank you so much for participating, and please send your gifts today. God bless you.